Just like how he's come out and said, oh yeah, I don't want to fight Gib because my brother will be against me. Fuck <laughs> off. You're scared you're going to get done, mate. Oops. Fucking admit it. Don't be a pussy. Oops, he's a pussy. That and that's like actually pissed me off. <laughs> yes! We're back! So that's what you wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show off how big he looks. Right, we are back in the Waffling Studio. Properly, Malfoy. How are you feeling? I'm seeing myself on the camera and I look pathetic. No, mate, you look <laughs> hedge. No, I don't. Honestly, look fat. everyone, don't you think that Theo looks in great condition? <laughs> He's run a marathon. You are looking better, mate. So is Luke. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> you just. <laughs> Now, overall, when I was on the uh, waffling Instagram last night, obviously I got people to send in quick fire questions, and a lot of them. <laughs> some, what? Some of your, what was the answer you? S I messaged this morning on it. Like, oh, this is fine. <laughs> you were having like an argument in your head for a minute. Well, no, like, yeah. Well, wait. someone was asking me like what my favourite sex position was, <laughs> and I was on Instagram thinking, is this weird <laughs> that I'm putting this on Instagram? But I'm like, this is what we do on waffling. And what was your answer? It's not my. I've you, answered it before. So it's when you're in charge on top and you bend the legs over, yeah. and you're just railing. <laughs> yeah, but we already we've we've spoken about that before. Look, I like I like dominant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I like dominance. So do you, right? But I also like to be dominated. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> but before anything, I do just want to address on this episode. Um, obviously, we spoke about Deji coming on. Oh yeah, we spoke replied. about Deji coming on, and in a video he said, uh, "Oh yeah, I don't have time for it. Yeah, I don't, I don't have time. <laughs> I've, I've got much more important things to do." Okay, fair enough if you do, mate. But we're all in lockdown. Do you know what I mean? We're all in lockdown. We haven't got like fifty million things to do. <laughs> I think he's too scared to come on straight up. Just like how he's come out and said, "Oh yeah, I don't want to fight Gib because my brother will be against me." Fuck <laughs> off! You're scared you're gonna get done, mate. Oops. Fucking admit it. Don't be a pussy. Oops, he's a pussy, that and that's actually <laughs> pissed me off. No, it's pissed me off. I hate when someone. <laughs> I hate fucking hate when someone can't just admit. Okay, look. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. If someone's not comfortable doing a podcast, say, oh yeah, I'm not really comfortable in that situation. Like, be honest about it, because I can tell that's what it is. He, I, you know, it's not that, oh, I don't have time. There's there's a deeper reason. So just be honest, mate. Don't ignore me, like as in air my message, and then just come out with some bollocks. Well, that wound me up. I just feel like the right thing would have been to reply and just be like, yeah, sorry, mate, not for me. Well, that's what, that's what a respectable individual would do. That's what someone that has a bit of credibility about them. <laughs> No, honestly, you wouldn't just fucking, oh, yeah, I'm just going to air him. And then, like, you know, it's the same thing with how he came out saying, oh, yeah, I want to fight anyone. I want to fight anyone. Gib comes up to him and says, I'll fight you. Oh, no, not you, mate. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> fucking fuck off. Like, at the end of the day, like, just, yeah, that, that, that's, the, oh, that's the only individual on YouTube at the moment that I really can't get my head around. Like, everyone else is really being honest and open, and I like it. But not Deji, and I don't so rate it. So, could this all... What? ...be down the road, heading for... I don't want to fight him. Oh. But I'll admit, I'm not, I'll am like. i say, look, I don't want to fight him. I don't want to fight anyone. Give but me I'm not coming out saying, oh, I'll fight anyone. <laughs> and then someone challenging me and me being like, oh, no, not you. I'm saying, look, I don't want to fight. But, yeah, so that, that wound me up. I feel Big like time. he's probably not going to want to come on now. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You can do one. You can do one <laughs> flaky individual. I I thought Deji, I thought Deji was decent, man. Like honestly, because like whenever I see him off camera, he's got that aura about him of of like you know deep down I respect you and nice. we're calm. Yeah, yeah. But the second you're not in front of him and it's all over the fucking internet and all that shit, he's a different individual. Be who you are all the time, or fuck off. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was really nice to get off your chest. Mm. I can see at one point during that, your veins were like exploding. <laughs> it's really, I feel really like... What? Small? Yeah. No, your are I haven't been to the gym in like over a week because it's so freaking tedious at the moment. What, going to gym? Oh, you need to cycle, mate. I have been. I've been doing a stupid amount of cycling. But cycling, I'm not going to lie, mate. Cycling so is what good. has got me hench. I know it sounds weird, but because you're con like, it must be something to do with my legs are getting stimulated to fuck more than ever, <laughs> right? I'm very intense today, aren't I? I'm very intense. <laughs> no, my, my legs are getting stimulated, and I think it uh, it affects the muscle all over your body. 
<laughs> but it's making me a lot hornier as well. <laughs> no, it is. Even cold, you're wearing, have you got cycling shorts? <laughs> I'm seeing lots of other cyclists in their shorts, so that's what's doing it. No, when you're cycling, like your balls are like what? <laughs> what? Well, so you get massive rodos while you're cycling? <laughs> no, never said that. You have to like pull over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? I'm just saying, like sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I'm just saying sometimes. Oh, like, man, uh, I'm telling you something, right? There's something about this room that just is a pure giggle monster. <laughs> The second we're back in here, no, it just I'm, feels I'm like sometimes my balls are like bouncing over and it's a bit uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, it doesn't turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking twat. You just said it's uncomfortable. Why is that turning you on? It's like it's getting pain. <laughs> um, well, yeah, overall, I've been fucking doing it. As in, in terms of exercising, I really wanted to show that, look, lockdown is not going to stop me from achieving and I think that is hopefully what a lot, well, I've seen a lot of people have been doing. Like, you fucking ran a marathon, mate. I did, like, yeah. you know, that in itself. I cycled half a marathon the other day, and I was I was thinking, how has Malfoy run this? Mate, it, 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 it is so yeah. long. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't realise how long a mile was. Like, you know, do you run in kilometres or miles? Kilometres. Yeah, try, <laughs> Kalama, Kalama. <laughs> <laughs> try running in miles. It's disgusting. Yeah. Well, you run like a six, mi- six minute mile, right? In the no, I did. I did, <laughs> I did the sport relief uh, sponsored mile once, where what you a run school? a you run a mile. No, I was like I was, I was about eight, and I did it in six minutes. Uh, no, you didn't. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, You're eight years old. Yeah, it's a six minute mile. Well, yeah, no, I did it once. Yeah, I did it once. Stop breaking the world record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little well, world. You know, a seven minute mile was like rapid, and you were running a six minute at age. Hey, with that yeah. exceedingly long stride. <laughs> well, my legs were longer back then. Look, it was good, all right? So, suck your mum. Anyways, we are now going to get into our first question of the day. <laughs> Please stop doing the bopping. What? It's making me uncomfortable. I will just say before anything, you lot, anyone that's not following Waffling on Instagram, you are sodding, missing out. I've been putting some fire on there and I literally feel that is the one place on this earth that I feel absolutely comfortable. To be a weirdo. Yeah, to be a fucking fuck up. In, pu- in public, obviously, you feel comfortable with us. But yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, now as they in, see it. I will sit there and speak on that device, uh, like that account, like I am talking to like the boys' group chat. I, I literally almost replied to one question about getting stoned for a video the other, yesterday. Would you do that? If, like, if we all a- got stoned as fuck? <laughs> It'd be funny as hell. But, you know, the only annoying thing is that in England, it's illegal. So if we do it in America, then we're calm. There you go, then. All right, well, yeah, but just make sure you basically oh, you're following us uh, at Waffl- Waffling Podcast on Instagram because you don't want to miss out. And we've been getting a lot of questions saying, when is the singing competition coming? Yeah. And I put it up just now this morning. Who Mate. do you want to see first? Yeah, who? I really was hoping everyone would vote for Luke. Was it you? 72% of the votes were me. Fuming. That is brutal. As well, I will say, like, can the people that keep sending nudes to <laughs> <laughs> to, to the waffling DMs, please, please, please don't do this. That is what for, that's our that's our premium membership. Well, I mean, this is something we were we were talking about. Obviously, Logan Paul's got his Maverick Club, right, where he has his. It's basically OnlyFans. And we were thinking, look, Waffling, we are missing out big time here. We should create our own club, the Waffling Mafia, an exclusive club that people can join and interact with us directly and personally. You become part AKA, of the AKA, you pay to send us news. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's joking, the joking. highest tier. No, yeah. Pay £50, Joe will specifically open yours. Yeah, but then, you know, this is where it's gonna, it is going to get dodgy. I understand I've already got a name for, you know, Weller must be a bit dodgy. But is, um, to confirm that that wasn't actually our idea. The idea wasn't let's start up a club yeah, no, where for people example, can send us. It was a genuine idea where we like example, we want to do Discord servers. Yeah, Discord servers have a, a monthly Zoom hangout. You know, the lowest tier would you can watch our stuff ad free, <laughs> which <laughs> everyone does anyway. Basically, yeah, we were trying to figure out like what would be a worthwhile yeah. club that people would want to join. So let us know, you know, what would you hope to be in? You know, what would you pay? an amount for to do with the waffling boys. It's so important that he's not... <laughs> don't talk with the eyes. It is important that we don't just offer like, just pay us money and 
Get fuck all. Yeah, back. we don't. We don't want to. <laughs> like, do we actually want to offer a, a really good service. Yeah, like you know, anything you want, <laughs> uh, we'll try and adhere to. So just let us know. I but think um, yeah, something like a weekly, not a weekly, a monthly yeah. behind the scenes waffling vlog. Yeah, which is just to the like the subscribers to this. But service. don't you think they want personal? Like, i.e., they like to to have a chat with us. Oh, you yeah, know, get some tips on on how to do certain things. Fingering. But we what? want to <laughs> oh. <We laughs> offer more than just you fingering know, that. skills. Yeah, <laughs> offer, offer like a range of different things. And also, cool things. twenty percent discounts at merch. Yeah, Don't have, but yeah, like we're, yeah. Basically, let us know in the comments. You do all the work for us, and then we'll <laughs> think about it. But anyways, let us get on with a question. Now, this one is going to be: My dad is a nudist. How am I meant to invite this girl over? So dad just got his knob out all the time and you want to invite the girl around. It's a bit awkward. I know. It goes, hi, Luke, Theo, and the other one. So I'm I feel the other like, one. I feel like Luke is... I didn't change it. I didn't change it. It's all right, Luke, mate. I didn't change it. I didn't change it. Luke, you little swat, mate. Right. <clears throat> I'm 17 and I've been dating a girl for the past three months and it's going really well. Well done. We've been talking about having sex... And things have been getting pretty heated on Snapchat. That's how it goes. She's asked to come over to get to get the deed done. Ooh. However, my dad is a nudist. He'll oh. strip bollock naked wherever he is allowed to. Obviously, Wait. growing up with this, I'm used to it. But how do I tell her? My dad's furloughed, so he's always home. <laughs> Wait, so his dad just walks around the house with his cock out? So did my parents. What? <laughs> No, but they, 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 <laughs> that don't surprise me. Yeah, like they, like they always just are naked. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait so wait. you grew up? <laughs> no, they're baby. Bay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna feel about this one. Joe, Joe, you told everyone we walk. You grew up with my tits. You ask my my yeah my parents. They'll be like, look, I see nothing wrong with it. And they like always, even to this day, would happen to yeah, just walk around the house naked, uh, in front of all of us. That oh. you know, and it's dodgy. <laughs> no, it is dodgy. I, I as I grew up, I was like, this ain't right. Like I had, I had a mate round, and no, 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 no. It's no. happily like, like, no, nah, no, nah, it's getting dodgy now. But I, uh, yeah. Bottom line is, <laughs> I can relate to this bloke a little bit. See, how does this stuff keep coming out? What do you mean? <laughs> So like just when, the just when relate, we like, just well, actually, when we, yeah, just, <laughs> just when we thought we found out the weird, or well, not the weirdest thing, the most interesting thing, yeah, you just top it. Well, yeah, I mean, I they, but I think this is what works. This is why these people can send these things in in confidence because yeah. often I will have experienced a similar <laughs> situation. It's so interesting how his dad is just walking around with his knob out. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is going straight on Twitter. <laughs> so <laughs> that is like that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, so uh, make me just like. So what would you do? You go round like my just, house. Can and you imagine you're just sitting there in the evening watching TV? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, just, it's just hanging. Yeah, but what would you do? I, I what would you do? Go to my room. Run. <laughs> yeah, because I don't. I really don't know what advice to fucking give this bloke. Because what? What? You know, you got to basically be accepting. You got to make banter of it. Everyone's got dodgy things in their family, so make banter of it with the girl, and then continue. Hopefully, no, she no. accepts I, I it. I understand. Look, I understand. Like being a nude is very common, but like for example, when you bring your new girlfriend around to meet the parents. And she meets your dad for the first. Time. Yeah, hi. How you doing? She can't see and your dad's cock before yours. Do you know what I mean? Like she's gonna have to is an awkward one because she's gonna have to be like so say you're the dad and I'm the girl she's like hi where do you look <laughs> it's like oh shit <laughs> like what happens if she does that like oh oh I've looked at the cock that's <laughs> 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 so awkward surely no you'd ask your dad to put clothes on yeah for this for me because like she's not used to being around nudists yeah I, I think basically you just play with your father <laughs> <laughs> come Please on mate put clothes on. fucking sort it out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, each to their own, but that is a dodgy one. Um, anyways. <clears throat> um, ba -ba -da -ba. Right, let's go with this one next. Okay. One that I can relate to again. Oh, classic. Um, my best friend's girlfriend likes me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. Wait, in your head, everyone's girlfriend fancies you. <laughs> 
I always do this it's thing, like every, every time like there's a, a fit girl with a boyfriend or something, I always say to Joe, I'm always like, do you reckon you could steal her of him? And he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you give me the hope. Like, Jay, what are you talking about? Do you remember Look, uh, what? No. Look, at the end of the day, like people are attracted to who they are. I don't think every girl is attracted to me. A lot of them find me repulsive. And I accept that. But all I'm saying is, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> when it comes to your girl. <laughs> so would you say Luke's girlfriend fancies you? No. What about you? <laughs> what? No, don't <laughs> fancy me. What? Yeah, suppose I've said anything. I've said nothing. Right. What do you want? <laughs> Go on. What? What, what do you want? What? Can I read the question? All right. <laughs> yes, lads. So basically, my childhood best friend's girlfriend of two years has, has recently told me that she has feelings for me. I told her I don't feel the same way, and she said, okay, forget about it. <laughs> she is still with my best friend, and I don't know if I should tell him or not, because it could end up in our friendship being tarnished and also creating a fight and breakup between him and his girlfriend. I feel that he should deserve to know, what do I do? Basically, you march straight up to him yeah. and say, look, your girl wants me. I'm about to do it to Theo, and I'm about to do it now, Jane. No, I'm joking, no, 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 I am joking, obviously. But I think... Obviously, as with all of these sort of things, should I tell the truth? Should I not? Often you'll find that telling the truth and being honest is the way forward. Realistically, they can't be together if she's gone to his best mate saying, I have feelings, which means she doesn't have feelings for... Yeah, yeah. Basically, you need to help your, your mate out here. Put yourself... Say if she hasn't told you that she has feelings for you... It could be another man. The bottom line is, if she has feelings for another bloke, then she's not into your mate. But it is also an awkward one because obviously you've rejected her, which is the right thing to do, and you're telling your friend, which is the right thing to do, but in his opinion, you are the one that's ruined the relationship. Mm, no, you know, no, 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 no. But, no, he, but could, he could see it like that because he might be, oh, my girlfriend fancied you, and then like he might get like... Down well, then the that's his problem. No, because that's not, no, it's not him. Well, what, what do you think? What do you think about the idea of you know, you know, someone's just broken up. Your mate's just broken up with his girlfriend. Uh, maybe like three months ago, <laughs> and someone in, in the friendship group is actively now liking her pics. You know, wagwan. Well, chat to me. Last week you said that's okay. On the podcast you said I that's said right. that is okay. Not in, not not after a couple of months. I, I that's what pretty much what I said. How long has it been? Like six months, three months. And what happens if like uh, I don't know the girlfriends are unfollowed the boyfriend they're all split up and yeah he's still liking no no the yeah that, that, that's bless that's bless but <laughs> what I'm saying what I'm saying what I'm saying is like what is the point is where it it's soon? like is it too soon or just like within the friendship group is is that well okay so. Have you had previous discussions about it? Have you been saying it's okay? Maybe under the influence? And then when you're sober, it's... Oh, I sort of regret saying that. Yeah, we all say silly things when we're drunk, but it's not it's not unreasonable to go back on them. But and, they have to be addressed. And also, it's just liking a friendly photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess when someone's... When an individual within a friendship group has got a track record for going for <laughs> other... For, for their mate's go, ex-girlfriend... It's, it is a little bit like, whoa, wait, like, wh where are we at And here? also, do you reckon it could be like, because they obviously are clearly a good looking lad and all the girls seem to flood towards him. He gets a lot of birds, yeah. Yeah, is it, so, maybe it's like, oh, please not you, just someone else. No, I mean, I'd, look, I'm all about fair game. I am all about fair game. I'm just like, where is that line where it's like, can you now go for your mate's ex-girlfriend? Where does that line of like, okay, it's been enough time yeah. or am I like, is this, bit, yeah. is this a bit, is this a bit, you know... I'm literally doing this to fuck, and that's it. It's you know, yeah. one way. One thing I would want to mention on that topic is I saw a couple of uh, comments last week saying like, "What? Well, what's this thing with boys thinking they have ownership over girls?" But obviously, we can only speak from a male perspective. Uh, the rules apply to the other side as well when we're talking about this. But yeah. if we were females, we'd be saying the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hundred percent. Females are obviously will get jealous and whatnot when they see their ex dating other people. Yeah. Or yeah. Liking. It's also not an ownership thing. It's no, not. It's, it's not, not it's an ownership. It's, it's more the fact that yeah, it's a between your friend and you, not yeah, not the, the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's it's just a level of it's that bro code thing. But bro code. Anyways, right. Let's go for this one. My girlfriend stinks. God, safe lads. So I've been with my girlfriend for over a year now. Over the past few months, she's begun to smell a bit different. 
I first noticed it when I went round hers, but didn't think it was her until I hugged her and realised it was. I thought this was a one-off, but the next time I saw her, the smell was still present. It is now at a point where the smell is the only thing I notice <laughs> and practically stinks of shit. Wait. How the hell do I... <laughs> how the hell do I approach this to tell her? I need to, like... <coughs> is he referring to, you know... No, I think her yeah. general oh, scent aura. is that of roughness. And I can't she, lie, can relate a little, uh, a little bit on this one. showering? Um, no, I can't really relate, actually. <laughs> nah, go on. <laughs> like, no, so you can or can't? No, no, but not as general body scent, but you can relate to odor. Down yeah, them. odor downstairs. But is she showering? Because how do you suddenly start stinking of shit? Some people do have like generally bad odors. Because everyone has their aura, don't they? Mate, it's actually dodgy. I've been with a girl where I was like, I had that issue. I was like, um, oh, I didn't really like like the scent of her. That sounds weird. It wasn't like, oh, it smelled of shite, but it was like literally like her scent is unattractive. It's like, yeah, it's like when you go around someone's house, like, oh, this smells like that person's yeah, house. Yeah, like your house reeks. <laughs> <laughs> my house reeks. I'm joking. My house reeks. Yours actually your fridge. does. Mine really does because I need to <clears throat> clear up. But yeah, this is a weird one because what do you say to a bird? How your do you say girlfriend. It? It's not even just a random yeah, girl. Maybe, it's maybe over a year. Maybe start with like buying her a new perfume. <laughs> <laughs> trying to mask yeah, but that's physically masking no, trying because, to mask over the problem but what, what could be the problem is that that perfume she's using is causing this scent to change and become <sighs> shit smelling and if you give her a new so, one maybe try this one so you're saying he needs to troubleshoot first to work out work where out, this scent you is you want to find out where the from. issue is coming from yeah because <laughs> I feel like if, if you said to a girl you stink of shit no, that's the thing. That's probably, yeah, it's probably going to make her cry. So maybe try and troubleshoot the issue and then yeah, maybe bring it up. Yeah, identify okay, what the problem right. is. Yeah. So wait, you've identified Detergent. the issue that it is just her. So she stinks. <sighs> no, that's the issue. Then what are you saying? How are you, how <laughs> are you done, resolving yeah. it then? It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. What do you mean? It is done. What, you're breaking up with her? Oh, it's got to be. But you love her? Yeah, I know, but she stinks of shit. <sighs> no, it's a bit harsh. It's harsh, it's harsh, but like how you can't change your smell. I mean, you, you got to find a way. I don't know. It's harsh, but poor girl, eh? Poor girl. She doesn't even know. Just really is poor girl. But then a lot of boys all also stink as shit. Yeah, surely, like, like, surely I, boys stink more. I'm not directing this at you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm great, not. People say I have a great. No, smell. I'm not. I haven't said anything yet, mate. But obviously, you when you've played football. Oh yeah, it's bad. You reek, mate. Yeah, I know. So what I'm saying is there's got to have been a time where your girlfriend would have smelled you. Well, that's different. When you smell bad. I know I've done that and I smell terrible. Yeah, no, I've smelled But Jamie. the girl would be like, I don't mind. And I'm like, how? <laughs> I'm like, how? Do you think? Yeah, but it's different. It's different when you've played sport and you've been doing all this masculine stuff and being all oh, vardy lardy. It's a different smell to constantly stinking like shit when you've just showered makeup and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah, but why do you think a... girls like it? They don't. Not all of them do. Some of them like that disgusting sweat smell. I get told to shower if I steam. Yeah, I probably do as well. Like, you want to be a clean. But, like, I'm sure you've smelt your girlfriend when she stinks of shit. I don't no, to be fair, I don't think she ever has. She's never done exercise. Yeah, and, but... Like, sweated. But she just doesn't smell. Are they, they're, not, they're not quite the same as boys in the sense where well, we yeah, exercise, I know, but... we, we start to smell like fuck. Yeah, but like girls also do get bo. It's like humans. Not all girls, though. Swear wait. down. Surely you, sm you. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's like saying like. Yeah, but this is the geezer that. No, nah, I can't. Wait, say but that. this is like that. Wait, wait, Luke. That's like saying like not all humans have biology. What do you mean? Wait, of course they smell. Yeah, but it's like for me, for example, like it's very rare that I even sweat. I'm not working hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, do you reckon? If your girlfriend comes back from like a really heavy session, she's like deodorizing and stuff before she gets and comes and sees you. What do you mean? So as in, is she fresh? Is she her, freshen is she herself up? Making sure she's only in your presence doing things when she's fresh, or does she ever like fresh off a fucking gym session or whatever? Yeah. Don't know if she goes gym. No, yeah, no. I've sit, I like seen with her, been with her in like the the worst possible condition, but I've there's never been a time where I've been like, do you know what really? I mean? Yeah. Fair enough. No, I mean, I would be honest. Yeah, yeah, I know. I believe. I believe you. That's yeah. so interesting. Like, does she fart in front of you? Oh, mate. Do we have to go down that road? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. 
I want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're right. Next question. I want to do something that's not a question. Okay. Like chat about ourselves. Well, we've got. I really want to ask. Oh no. Some personal questions. Oh, no. <laughs> but like, I haven't got any in my head, so I might just move on to a question. Hope that one well, comes into me. A lot of people were telling us to do a drunk episode. What, a fully smashed one? Fully smashed episode. And we'd yep. do like, never have I ever. Never have I ever. Oh, God. And I, you know never have I ever is always to do with sex. Yeah. yeah. It's impossible not to do it with sex. And because we're tipsy. Yeah, but I, I, we don't answer that anyway. Like, yeah, I know, we did never like, have I, I ever. Know, I feel like it'd be quite giggly. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyways, <laughs> let's just move on to another question. Um... Am I being bullied by my girlfriend? Hi, fellas. I've been dating this fit as fuck 26-year-old for about three months now. She was class to begin with, but has recently become a bit of a savage towards me. She slags me off for pretty much uh, anything I say. And whenever I try to compliment her or have a proper deep conversation with her, she shoots me down. I've tried to speak to her about it, but she tells me that I'm overthinking. She's unreal apart from that and a bloody animal in the bedroom. So my mind is a bit scrambled. Cheers, you bunch of horny young men. Basically, he's getting treated like a little bitch. She's fit, so he, he wants to shag. It's but classic. She's... It's so classic, mate. When you've got a well-fit girl, yeah. you end up doing any... You simp You're blind for her. her. Yes, That's yeah. legit. You become a simp. You allow yourself to be walked all over, right? And because you're literally like, wow. It's almost like you're intimidated by how fit she is. It's almost like you don't feel like you're deserving of her. So therefore, you compromise your own fucking self-worth to allow her to do what she wants so that she remains with you. And this, my friend, is wrong. It's not healthy. It's toxic. And it will lead you down a path... Of of pure unhappiness. Next question. The guru. Fucking <laughs> mate, that was a good one. That that deserved the guru touch. That, like, yes. I? I feel like if the role was re uh, reversed, it would be you're in a you're being manipulated. This man is you know, if, yeah. as, essentially you're in an abusive relationship. And we just called him a simp. Yeah, yeah. But that's <laughs> the thing, isn't it? Like, oh yeah, yeah, you're a simp. But no, really, what's going on is you're in an in abu abusive, manipulative relationship. Yeah. She probably is aware of how fit you find her, and she's using that to be able to. And and, and as well, I'm going to bring this up. I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but when you start to go off the idea of being with this particular individual, like the person you're with. Do you find yourself getting a bit more irritable towards them? Well, that's just naturally how it would be, yeah. yeah. Because maybe that's what it is. It's like, see, like low-key, subconsciously, she's like constantly just like almost at the end of her tether with him because she's not fully into him. So everything he does winds her up. 100%. I definitely get that. And it's yeah. bad. It's toxic. He needs to get out of there. Everything they do starts to piss you off. Yeah. Right? And it could be like even them being nice and you're yeah. like, that's so irritating. Yeah. But that is a horrible trait. But I think everyone, Such most people I, have it inside. Mate, I, I get that with everyone. Yeah, you really do. If I hang around anyone too long, everything they does winds me up. That's why you're destined to be on your own. Mate, that is literally it. That is why I'm never going to have a life partner. I will be a solo individual for the rest of my life because I can't coexist with anyone. It's like, you know, we had six months standard. You're one year weller. <laughs> I am so inch. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I know, I'm, I, I'm a bit of an arrogant twat. Like, that's the only thing, like, do any of you know anyone that's gone to the gym a bit, put on a bit of muscle, and they've sort of changed? Like, they sort of get a bit too arrogant. They start being like, oh, look, I'm so hench. Because I literally, I've found myself become this tosser. <laughs> Ever since I've put on a little bit of muscle, all I do is just, like, flex it. Then why don't you become a nice a, guy? And No, a gym influencer. Yeah. I want to see workout plans, apps, everything. You could seriously go down that route. 100%. But the problem is that balance of I don't actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. But you do. I wing it. I actually wing it. I go in my back garden. I do two exercises a day. That's it. I do two exercises and I cycle and that's it. And I somehow, my I just put on bare muscle. That's what people want. They want simple. They want simple shit that everyone does. Like, you get all these plans that are like, oh, do 17 reps, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You just want normal English instructions. So, I, yeah, because basically my the plan I do is very, very, very simple. But I just want to ask you this right now. Would you pay 
to, to learn this information. Because in order for me to sort of invest my time in creating an app and creating it and doing it and feeling like it's worth, yeah, investing so much time, I'd, what, I wouldn't want to just do it all for free. Like I'd want to make a business out of it. Oh, yeah, of course. So no, of course. what would you pay for that from someone that's not an expert? Because I'm not an expert. I've just, you know, experimented since the age of 14, figured out a way that works for my body type to get hench. So it's sort of like I'm not a professional. I don't think that matters in these days. You reckon? Mate, to become a YouTuber, you don't need to be an expert in YouTube. See, I think you do, mate. <laughs> well, no, no, it, it's proven you don't. No, I think know. Think how many YouTubers are just talentless. Literally, mate. But would you ever consider... <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> ...actually going down the route of maybe becoming a professional in this? Like, learning... You do short courses and that, couldn't you? Yeah, like, is that nothing that... Is that something that has never tempted you? Since it's something that you're so invested in to, <laughs> like, yourself. Shall, wait, shall I tell you something? I almost like the idea that I have this secret formula that I know that it's almost like my special thing, that like everyone almost looks at like, how's he done this? How's he got hench? My how's secret. he done it? And it's almost like, yeah, my, I, I, I've, I've fucking grafted to learn how to do this. And I like almost being, it's almost like a dominance thing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, no, no, it, it is. It's almost like the I, elitist. yeah, I like that I, I, I do this and, I, and it almost separates me from the rest. You have the knowledge which they don't. You feel more empowered. Oh my god, that's what it is. No, but mate, no, but I I mean we all know by now. I am obsessed with this idea of not being the same as everyone else. Yeah. So it's like why would why would I wanna show everyone how to be the same as me? I like being different from everyone else. So therefore that's almost subconsciously why I don't give out all this information. <laughs> information? Yeah, but you could earn Sheds of money. I know, but money's rarely my motivation, mate. Like I like, but you could. Okay, so halfway down the road of doing this app, your mindset could change. You'd be like, I want people to learn and to get fitter. It's never going to change, is it? Or is it? It's I not. like inspiring people. I love in that gases me. You I like love inspiring people. Without. I love inspiring people. I don't like giving away all my secrets. We should just get fit. No, it's I've got a secret formula. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally got a secret. But wait, a lot of people think I'm on steroids. And I'm not. But going on to that, obviously yeah. this Tifu guy. Great segue. By great way. segue. Um, this Tifu guy, very famous. What does he do? Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does he no, do? He's very adamant that he's not a nerd. No. He hates being called a nerd. Uh, oh. He's a gamer. Right. Uh, he's, a, he's, <laughs> a, he's a YouTuber Fortnite bloke. Makes racks. Cool. So basically, he's like done a load of gear, steroids, got in shape in like six months, and I'm telling you for a fact. Well, we, we must add that it's not actually 100 percent certain that he's done yeah, a load yeah, of we steroids. Don't want to <laughs> it's just, here. it's just like, oh, six months. Well, as an individual that has recently done a transformation, knowing what it takes to get there, um, yeah, like I mean, Theo, we're editor Tom. Editor Tom, if you could get up a photo of Tifu right now, him looking ripped. It's on his Instagram. On his Instagram, get get that transformation oh, photo. A million likes. The fact he's like naturally such a skinny bloke and he's put on all of that so quickly. Like, don't um, get me wrong, okay? It yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just finish yeah. this bit. It takes a lot of hard work for sure, but I would suggest that he has taken some assistance to get there. Just knowing from experience what it takes to get in shape. But we can't excuse the fact that, yes, he may be using PEDs, but it's still, you can't get in that shape without grafting and working super hard, right? For sure. Like, yes, they, they help you a little bit, but if you just take uh, it's them... It's not a little do, bit, it's not a little uh, bit. They help they you a lot. They fucking help you. <laughs> but but if, if you're not working out and pushing yourself to the limits, you're not going to grow. Yeah, it's not like wake up, take steroids, you're ripped. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh... How I'm working down, like how I'm working out, I'd I'd look like that if I did gear, but instead I look like this. I've probably got a lot, a lot of, well, quite a bit more fat, because in order to put on muscle, mate, you can't you can't get cut fat and put on bare muscle at the same time. It don't work because to put on muscle you have to be in a calorie surplus. To cut fat you have to be in a calorie deficit, so the two don't match. That's yeah. why people bulk and then cut, right? Giving away my secrets here. Nah, this is a well-known thing. It's not, <laughs> it's not my secret. Knowledge. It's fucking common knowledge. But 
Um, yeah, like that's where it's like the fact he's gotten, he's cut fat and put on so much muscle in a short amount of time. That's what's unnatural. So about if he it. came out and said, yes, I'll be using them to aid my abilities to yeah. get ripped, would you say fair play for being honest or would you say you're a cheat? Because he's not competing. I, uh, mate, I'd say do whatever the fuck you want. Like, don't, all I'd say is don't come out and say you're natural if you're not. Yeah. Because what you're doing then, you've got a young audience. You're, ch- you're, yeah, you're lying. lying. Yeah, yeah, you're lying. It would be so dead if now he came out of like T few uh, diet plan and like getting ripped yeah, workouts. Yeah, if he this. tried to like make money off it and say, oh, just buy my diet plan and yeah. eat a couple apples or whatever, and, <laughs> and you'll be ripped. Nah, if, if if secretly he's done gear, and that's the thing, mate. A lot of the fitness, you know, model, YouTuber, whatever people, they. They are on steroids. That's how they've got to where they are. And they are selling almost false, yeah, li- lies, basically. Uh, that, that That's how they got, you know, that they did it naturally. And I think that is that is a dodgy thing. It's lying. Wait, have you ever... You've never done them, have you? What, steroids? Yeah. No. Would you ever do them? Uh, I don't believe so. I think, for me, that would take some of the... I feel like you're cheating. A little bit. I feel like it would it would take away some of the satisfaction because look what the thing that separates you from everyone else is your work your the, the effort you put in only you can put in your effort right if you've got assistance helping you to achieve you know with the with the effort it's like yeah you know, you're just doing what everyone I don't know it, it, it that takes away the the uniqueness of you putting in you earning every bit of the result. And being proud of yourself for working yeah, together. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm doing steroids and that's kind of what's got me looking this hench. Like, people would praise me, wow, so impressive, but it's not me that that should that deserves the, the well done. It's the steroids. Yeah. Whereas I want to g- have full ownership of that proudness of achieving the results. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like winning, but you're only winning because your opponent got DQ'd or something. Well, it's, yeah, that's, yeah. Mainly, that's the reason why the entire world hated Lance Armstrong. Because he lied. Yeah. Did you guys watch that documentary? No, 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 I haven't watched it yet. It is insane. But this is what I'm saying. Like, obviously, you and your um, sort of like snowflake sort of, <laughs> sort of mental... <laughs> sort of mental... <laughs> no, 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 that, that video we did about steroids where you were like, oh, yeah, none of my favourite heroes have ever done them. <laughs> Part of the fact, they probably all had a, had a little dabble. Right? No, no, no. Like that Kipchoge bloke, he's, sh- no, he's shoveling them down. Sorry, mate. He's got the shoes. He's got the shoes. <laughs> yeah. What's so you? But that, that, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm telling you, a lot of them. Look, in order to be, if you really want to be the best, you will do whatever it takes. There's no way you're sacrificing family, eating, sleeping, drinking, whatever, but you're not willing to take the steroid that everyone else is doing. I'm telling you that okay. right now. Don't get me wrong. I'm opening my eyes to it and accepting that there's maybe more out there that I, you know, it's just, I, I, I really think that the likes of Federer, Bolt are natural. How, like, surely they would have been caught. Would they? Well, How Armstrong. much money do they bring in for the foundation? Okay, well, this is what, the, the Lance Armstrong documentary opened my eyes because obviously everyone fucking knew about it and because it was so popular for the sport. They were all covered up. Wait, so did everyone actually knew that oh, he yeah. was juicing at the time? All the cyclers. They all, but the problem with cycling is that everyone was on it. So it was almost a level playing field. Exactly. Because if you didn't do it. But this is what I'm saying, mate. A lot of sports are like that. Like, a lot, like p- people in boxing say, look, mate, fucking everyone's on it. <sighs> and, mate, pretty much everyone, bar Anthony Joshua, has been done for it. Hmm. Yeah. That's the question that I'm saying. Like, but who brings in, a, you know, the money? If Canelo, Canelo got done. Canelo, like, like, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not slandering. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying the questions are there to be asked yeah. about every sport. You know, at this point, if they said, oh, Usain, if, if they came out and said Usain Bolt did steroids, that the whole, like, that would ruin people's lives because it's it's like your the memories, your whole thought about athletics is tarnished. It would send everything downhill and number one, Money is getting lost. So cover it up. This is mad. So they Lance talks about he was playing golf when it all happened. Yeah. Within f- 48 hours, every sponsorship he had, Nike, whoever, gone. Yeah. Within 48 hours, everything gone. Mm. That Can you imagine? Mm. 
And that's what I'm saying, like, as in, you know... Oh. How did it get outed? If, if everyone... So, moved. there was a bloke who was, like, got done. Okay, so he got away with it, he retired. Mm. And because he was so addicted to the sport and the, and the, like, the winning feeling, he decided to come out of retirement. That's the worst mistake he ever did. Because he would have got away with it. What, so then, and then that's what sort of flagged up everything. And then there was this bloke yeah. who got done, got caught, and he was like, what the fuck is this? Like, everyone's fucking on it. And he got ridiculed, disgraced, and he was like, fuck this. Like, Lance Armstrong's like, curing cancer and whatnot. Obviously, he'll survive, and he's got his cancer stuff. He's like, fuck this. Everyone's cheating. All get outed. And then uh, people just turned on Lance. Because apparently he was a bit of a totter as well. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, so he, was a, he was a winning mentality totter. Yeah. But it, the way he talks about it in the doc is brutal, honest. That's good. I think that's what we want. Uh, honesty. That's what like, I think the world is going into now. Yeah. Um, it's honesty. It is absolute honesty. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, just like in, in everything. That's why them, podcasts do yeah. well because people want to see realness and, and openness and no like fake shit. And I think that's one of the reasons why like, I, I came to the end of it. I was like, I don't hate him. Because mm. he was so honest. Yeah. But he's lied to the world. I know. He should be hated. Honest when he got caught out. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's an interesting one. Would you ever do roids, mate? Like, would no. you? Why not? Like, why would I ever do roids? Mate, you'd look sick. Imagine if, mate, have you ever, like, you know, <laughs> you know, like, the, the, the feeling you feel when someone says, oh, Theo, you're looking in really good shape. I've heard that twice this week. Yeah, like, wow, Theo, you're looking so good. Oh wow! I'd love to be like big like you. Like, do you not think that would give you any sort of like dopamine hits and like? Ooh, no, it'd make me want to work harder, more naturally. Yeah, I mean that's how like when you know, I mean the fucking postman said it to me. <laughs> like, like, Fuck me, well I'd, like, also, I'd also be too scared. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I like, wouldn't want to scary because right? I, I obviously you know you read about with steroids, your hair falling out, your balls shrinking, your cock, <laughs> your cock getting even smaller. <laughs> No, <laughs> yeah, like as in, you know, all those different side effects. It's like, nah, you know for me, what, not worth not it. Think, uh, you, Weller, who's been in shape for, as we say, you've always been the in shape one. Try, you've, well, you've, had, you've had phases. Not in January. Obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> but as you get even older, you've been saying, you know, it's harder to get back to that, that state that I was in. Yeah. Do you think that, say, when you get to 30, and it's really hard now to get, you know, pets, abs, do you think then the temptation is going to be increased and you're like, maybe maybe I should dabble in them? Uh, nah. For me as well, like it's not it's not necessarily like, okay, you know, at the age of 30, you'll still have you'll still have natural testosterone. Like I feel like my body type, like everyone really is different. Like Malfoy, for a fact, can't put on muscle like I can. Can't. I'm a stocky, I'm a small but stocky individual, quite powerful by nature. Um, I feel like Malfoy is a bit more of an endurance individual. So, look, I think I'm, I personally am always going to have that sort of ability to put on muscle. The hard thing for me is cutting the fat. So I can have loads of muscle, but often like I will, I will have uh, yeah, like, la layers of fat that are covering it. And that, that is that that's a difficult bit. Would you never want to do like, you know how the bloke in Icarus did? I'm doing this for a video. I want to see what, like... Oh, an see experiment. What, experiment. See what would happen to... Say you give yourself six months... What would happen to you in six is that months? Not, is that not just an excuse to do it? Not necessarily, no, because you are experimenting and you're doing it for a video. You're documenting why you should or shouldn't use these steroids. So I'm being like a guinea pig for the world. Yeah. But mate, that documentary exposed Russia. Yeah. You could do something like that. Imagine I expose. Oh, God. No, I'll get, I'll get money on my head, mate. You'd ex <laughs> you, you expose UK boxing. Uh, Eddie, oh, Hearn will, Eddie Hearn will be on the phone call. He, do you know, Eddie Hearn, Come on, stuff. he commented Loves you. on my uh, transformation photo saying, this must be photoshopped. <laughs> I think that's his way of flirting, <laughs> personally. <laughs> like, no, but that's a sort of, you know, Eddie, I feel like he's a sort of bloke that if he, if he mugs you off, means he likes you. Yeah, no, 100%, 100%. And... Get him look, on the podcast, mate. Man, I, well, I, th I, I think he would. He went on Jack Mate's podcast. Really? Yeah. Sure, surely he's got a lot of stories of girls and like... Yeah, he'd be oh, a lot. He'd be perfect, oh, mate. you know what I mean? No, but then I think we... He, oh, his reckon, image. Yeah, well, this, this, this is the thing, boys. It's like, you know those people in the public eye, do they cheat on their missus? Conor McGregor? Yeah, as in like, you know, if Fish you're... If you're and this is me doing no slander, but if you're Eddie, Eddie Hearn, you've just been given 40 mil from Saudi Arabia. You, I know you're working all the time, but... 
You know, you're in different situations out in New York. Wait, does he have a wife and stuff? Yeah, wife and kids. But do you think that they are still playing the field and do... Because I know for a fact footballers do this. Footballers oh, do this. We made JT and Wade Bridge. Yeah. yeah like, was all, oh my God. Like, foot, yeah, footballers, literally, you hear stories about how they cheat on their missus all the time, but a missus sort of like accept it. Yeah, what? Well, because it's like, it's so oh, deep. But the lifestyle. Oh, they may have, they may even have an agreement. Well, that I can go and shag everyone. So can she. And I'll give you loads of money because we're together. Whereas that's, that's the thing, you have the lifestyle, you know. It's deep, but like, it definitely happens. Without a doubt. And like, there's people that love it as well, probably. But I don't care. I'm in it for the lifestyle. It's quite sad. I don't reckon Eddie's like that, though. I reckon he's, you know, he's lived his life and now he's, an, now he's a daddy. Yeah, he was used as an example, not, not per character reference. Yeah, I think Eddie would be a great fun on the podcast. Tell us great stories. Overall, though, on, on the subject of just like girls. Um, <laughs> Lockdown is really like, in terms of texting, you hate it. I fucking hate it, mate. Yeah. Like, as in, there is, I, I don't do it. I literally, mate, I haven't, for the whole of lockdown, since I ended my last relationship, I haven't been with anyone else. I haven't kissed a girl, obviously, COVID, but even before COVID, like, I, just, I literally have not been near a female in so long. And, um, one, I've forgotten, I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> Secondly, I have apps. I cannot tell you, I have no interest. I can't text. I can't hold a conversation. Quite hard I don't have, give a shit about texting. It's not real life. It's writing on a screen. Can't really you have banter. To, yeah, you need to pick up on the, the real life energy, right? So you are resonating an energy to me right now. I am picking up on it and I am translating one back. <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 but... Oh, this is like you're always such a cunt. No, no, no. Like, I, I, I literally, yeah, I'm all about touchy feely, very touchy feely. I learned a new word for that. You're tactile. Yeah, tactile. I am tactile and I like touching. It's all consensual. Yeah, without a doubt. But, no. um, yeah, like, uh, moving forward, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, July the 4th, bars open. I don't want to go to a bar. Why? We have house parties. No, no, I don't want to go to a bar because it's going to be packed. It's going to be absolutely rammed. We're a nice house party, a college party. Yeah, but then it's just with people a you uni party. already know. Uni, you want to go to a random uni? Well, do, you know what, do you know what I want to do? I think. Can we? Oh, go you've got. Barley. You've all got birds. You want to go barley? No, and no, shag. no. I want to go on a tour around England, going to just the different clubs. So you want to do what rock stars do? Go to different cities to perform their concerts, but really you're going to these cities to... <laughs> explore the girls. Explore the girls. Is that what I do? Of course! Yes! So we get a tour bus. <laughs> me, and Luke, me and Luke have our own little section. Like, <laughs> you okay then there, Joe? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so we could just do that. It's just copious amounts of... <sighs> what did you do the other night? Copious huh? <laughs> <laughs> So Malfoy comes in no, and he goes, lap. look, a... I did loads of cat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? With Harry. What are you talking We are so far in the podcast now. No one's watching. No, wait, but I noticed you say that in a lot of the podcasts and we always get comments like, why does Joe think no one's listening to the end? Like we listen till the end. Do you actually, okay, if you're listening to the end right now, you're going to comment, wow, Joe, your biceps really are in the way. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, back onto this topic. So you did copious amounts of like what no, gear no. kept and you've come in and said about it. Now, why were you doing all this? Was this at the YouTuber party where everyone just gets on it? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, you Who are... supplies? <laughs> you are... Where are you making this up? Mate, from? I think, look, it's got to get to a point where everyone knows that the, these YouTuber parties are massive. They're not sex parties. They're dodgy drug parties. What? Where? What? They're like, are they are literally like rock stars. Who is it? Mate, think. Rock? You have rich people that live, they're all self-employed and live on their own schedule. What do they all do? Get on it. And I know for a fact they do. So, been, tell us about you, it. Have you seen it? Yes. What did you see? Loads of rhino care. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon the Americans are like this? 
Well, they talk about loads of gear, don't they? Mate, on the American podcast, like, yeah, we do Maui all the time. Yeah, it's more common. Oh, mate, mate, I you... saw a fucking question that I favoured. I favoured it myself. That's about Mandy, MDMA. Um, so let me just quickly get this out. Let me whip this up right now. No, wait, let me actually whip it up. Oh, I just don't even know where it is. <laughs> but um, basically, I'll, I'll say what the question was. There's this geezer that is... You know, his girlfriend's not interested in him anymore. So he's turned. He just keeps doing Mandy, doing popping drugs, basically, on his own oh. all the time. And I swear we know people that have fallen into that situation. You've got to be really careful yeah, about that. What? As in, like, I'm not name dropping. No, no, no. As in, no, you've got to be careful about doing it on your own. Yeah, well, no, I swear we know. I swear some YouTubers that have done it where they will literally just do drugs on their own in their room. Really? I know someone that, I know someone that has done that. And it's been at a fucking low point. And it Shit. is dodgy, man. It's scary, though, because everyone else doesn't know. Like, you may do, be doing this, you may be in a low point, and no one knows. Yeah. Drugs are not, not a good idea, mate. No, they're mate. really not. I, 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 everyone not knows idea. that, like, doing them is however bad you're feeling and then however good it makes you feel. It's going to be the, worse. The bad that, yeah. is much worse yeah. on the come down. Just a mask. Yeah. It's a mask. Yeah. Even, like, I was thinking about Glastonbury, right? I was watching it. And, mate, I think that would be the most fun with, without even, like, doing drinking. Like, I know it sounds dodgy, like, okay, probably having a few bevs, but obviously loads of people go to Glastonbury and do fuckloads of drugs. But not And you. by, like, <laughs> by, <laughs> by, like, Saturday, so you get there on Wednesday, by Saturday, everyone's just feeling like shit, like, with a hangover, come down, whatever, feeling awful that they can't even enjoy the acts. And I'm like, if I... Nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like, doing, not, like, just, just going there and just drinking would be so much better, I think. Like we did in 2013 at Reading. No, I fell asleep the whole time. Oh, mate, I remember getting on Stannard's shoulders for Eminem, Not Afraid. I was there. Were you? Mate, I was there. I was on my own. Oh. I spent a lot of that festival on my fucking own. I went to ASAP Rocky on my that own. That's so good. You were there. Yeah. And I was just on my own. Where the fuck were you? Where were, were you? Were like, you? Did you go Skrillex? Yeah, I was front row. I was literally- I was at the front as well. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was- I got We were to, in a mosh pit. Because I was at ASAP Rocky and I somehow got to the front for Skrillex and I was doing all this. And the next morning- <laughs> <laughs> wait, And I got my fucking- I, Got whiplash in my neck, and the next day I had the most like stiff neck, and it was awful. But um, what's so, yeah? I spent so much time on my own. I was it, fucking depressed. Is, that, is, is that because you slept so much? Like, was it like, oh, we're, oh well, well, we, we need to go somewhere, but well, is asleep again, and then yeah, you wake up and you're like, oh, in where is three it? man tent? Yeah, well, one? well, this is the thing. Like, everyone would just bun off and go and do their own thing, understandably. But yeah, I'd be on my own. And oh mate, it was a horrible feeling. I felt so alone. But it was because like I do one night of drinking. You and I'd, I'd be so sleepy the next day. It's like, as I've gotten older, I've gotten better with hangovers. Whereas a lot of people are like, oh yeah, when I was younger, I was better. Whereas now. I, I think I'm getting better. Yeah. But I'm also being smarter. Oh yeah. I'm doing the classic pussy thing of just drinking water for two hours before you go to bed. So I stop drinking and then just sesh the water. Yeah. Well, you feel yeah, great yeah. the next day. Which I'll tell you what actually contributes to it. Working out, i.e. the reason why I'd... I cause think I haven't really gotten smashed since I've been getting hench again because we've been in lockdown. Yeah, same. But when when I was say eighteen and I was fucking cane in the gym and then I'd go to Reading Festival, your when you work out your muscles like they make you need sleep more. Like you need you fall mm. you get sleepier because your body physically needs to send you to sleep to recover. So I think that contributed to it. So I'd be at Reading Festival and Smacked. my muscles are all like just needing. That's why I was needing to sleep so much. And also, you don't hit like a certain sleep phase. Uh, is it rapid eye movement? When you're drunk, you don't, sleep, yeah. Yeah, you don't fall into that stage. So you could have 12 hours sleep drunk. It's not good sleep. And you'd feel worse than like having six hours sleep sober. Really? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you don't hit a certain stage of sleep where your body's like... It's all about like your quality of your sleep, not how long you sleep. Oh. To an, ex to an extent, obviously. Yeah. I mean, that festival, that first one we went to was nuts. See, I didn't go. Glasgow was first first time. Wait, I went oh, to a that's festival. so weird. Loves music, just didn't go to a festival. Mate. Didn't you try and convince yourself that you wouldn't like it? What? No. What? What? So what? I'm not a fan of is camping. I'm a bit of a princess. Oh, like I don't like the idea of being well dirty. Mate, you should. It's that first reading. The state of our camp. <laughs> 
like you had Tom Mackley like rolling around in the fire pit. Wasn't Matt Acton's nickname Dustbin Acton? Mate, I had a Because <laughs> <laughs> we threw all, all our rubbish his in his tent. Mate, look, Dave, so, look, this was the state of me for, at Glastonbury. Wait, let me focus. <laughs> That was me at Glasgow. <laughs> the was the fucking class, mate. It was a great nick. You just smashed on alcohol. I was just absolutely smashed. Me, I had a shit in my tent. <laughs> <laughs> that was Damo. That was Damo. Because you broke Damo's tent. Whoa. So he physically went in your tent <laughs> went in your tent and took a dump. I can't believe he did that. And he put it in a, he was kind enough to put it in a plastic bag, but it's that really smell a- of that tent. <laughs> bear in mind it's tiny and it's hot. <laughs> Wait, but in my defence, I did cut a hole in his tent and dolphin dive through. Yeah, but does that does that warrant it was him leaving a log in your tent? It was just banter. <laughs> you <laughs> broke his whole tent. Actual oh, shit. Dustbin acting is so good. Oh my god. Oh, actually is. Oh. Um, so what, when, what, go on, what when was, was the first time you like experimented with drugs? Oh my god. See, what point, where do we have the medium, right? Because, look, we want to maintain a sense of realism, right? We're all fucking grown-ups here. We have experienced these different narcotics. So have parents. Mate, so have parents. So, like, we're not fucking snowflakes, right? So, what, where is the line with what we talk about this? Do we, we, do we full-blown? Now, we set an example, but we can also talk about our mistakes and fucking just experiences, you know? So... First time I came to Mandy, <laughs> was a gay pride. Was a gay pride. Um, yeah, gay pride. Young people watching this, we, I will say, don't do them though. So uh, realistically, like it always hey, ends no, bad. No, I've decided. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I will have a better time overall um, when I don't get ridiculously drunk. Or do any other well, substances. You know what's going on. Well, no, it's more because, like, if I have a horrible hangover come down afterwards, it makes me look back at the at the experience and hate it. So I I look back on say like times I've been to Ibiza, like with the fucking time where I didn't go to Budapest because I I was out on such a horrible come down hangover from from Ibiza that I was like, oh my god, I, I fucking regret and hate the thought of Ibiza that I and it. It made me not want to go and do that again in Budapest. Yeah. And likewise, yeah, with festivals, like I'll look back on them and, and look at them and, yeah, just regret and, and hate the idea. I think I'm the complete opposite. Like I feel like, yes, I've made some mistakes in the past, but, for example, say Reading, yeah. it is one of my fondest memories because I remember so much of it. And when you get too obliterated, you lose those memories. Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I really struggle with memory loss with it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Even when I get as <laughs> fucked like as possible, I, I remember. I do, I do. Yeah, same. But, um, yeah, it's more of just how it makes me feel after. Like, the come down is not worth it. I remember like, you after this Glastonbury was... Oh, shit, that stopped sliding. Let me get that. Yeah, go on, mate. I, I remember you after this Glastonbury was... Mate, after the Glastonbury like, last year... You took year, a week... Mate, at uh, least well, two weeks minimum, and it, it, like I, I was having panic attacks. I was literally felt I felt so awful, yeah, I remember. and it, it ruined me. I was having nightmares, and it made me think, feel like I don't ever want to feel like this ever again. So like, and I, and I know I would have enjoyed Glastonbury more if I just was like on a sober thing. But anyways, enough on that little topic. Now, um, going to bring it back to true waffling. Uh, obviously, nice so, someone has sent in uh, a message with the tagline "extremely high sex drive." And blocked by Joe from the hacking. Also, basically, I, I, I added that extra bit in the tagline just yeah, so you could. Obviously. Yeah, because basically, someone hacked my Instagram back in the day and yeah. just decided to start blocking all my followers, which is so annoying. Annoying, and to this day, obviously, people and are. She blocked. left her Instagram. Yeah, but yeah, Instagram don't allow you to select everyone and unblock them. You have to go through like the thousands of people that he's blocked, and it's just like obviously it's long. But anyways, the question is: Hello, Joseph, Theo, and that guy that's got a really small fucking twatting now. Nah. Um, <laughs> I am emailing you to ask about my extremely high sex drive. I've been with my boyfriend. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl that's got the welleritis. <laughs> um, I've been with my boyfriend for nearly three years, and I and in the beginning we were at it like rabbits. But instead of us uh, decreasing the amount of sex we've had, we have been having uh, together for a while. Oh. But in, instead of us decreasing the amount of sex we have. Since being mate, this per- I hate when people don't use good freaking. <laughs> Since I just want more, okay, I just want more. 
I feel like my boyfriend thinks I'm too much, but he says he doesn't mind. But sometimes I'm asking for multiple rounds and he can't act it. Any advice or, or have any of you had this experience? I've been watching Joe since the beginning and honestly, he really <laughs> he seems like a great shag. And, uh, yeah. Wait. Yes, Joe, um, if you want to DM... No, I'm killing this. <laughs> no, she wants to be unblocked. She wants to be unblocked. But overall... I can't go more than one round in a gut in a. I oh know I've done it once. I've done it once. But having for a bloke, you have sex and then your cock turns off. You need at least twenty minutes. Yeah, twenty minutes. I can reload in twenty. The if thing I'm, is, if I'm yeah. No, but uh, the the difficult thing is, is I I thought this was going to be a thing of like this was a single. It was going to be a single individual that has this high st- sex drive. But in terms of like within the relationship, I can't really help. Can you help? Can you help? No, like, but I'm, I feel like every boy, yeah, some are different, but majority of blokes can have it once. Like I'm literally normally max once 24 hours. It will not reload until the next day. Even have, like you ever, have, you, wait, have you ever absolutely cane the Viagras? No, but we, we've had this discussion. Look, boys, firstly, if any of you lot, work at a Viagra brand, it's perfect for waffling. We've been trying to message loads of them saying, can you sponsor an episode? Because imagine, yeah, like, I think it'd be good. But I've caned it a couple of times and it means you can literally do like five sessions in like Wait. 24 hours. <laughs> but it's class, your cock just keeps working. It's just, it literally just constantly. So the thing about Viagra, it doesn't just go rock hard. You have to have a stimuli still, right? So or basically, you- I believe how it is, is yeah, it doesn't make you horny, you need to be horny, but what if you are horny, it's then you literally have an absolute rock hard thing. Does it make you last longer. Please tell me. No, I, actually, <laughs> I think I think no, I think it does. Uh, my knob is a bit more numb. Yeah, because you've got no foreskin. No, no, no. It's a bit more, <laughs> mate. <is it? laughs> well, no, that is true though. Yeah, but that's not the point I'm making. It. It's a bit more numb. It's even more numb <laughs> um, does it when work? when uh, when I have used uh, Viagra. And, uh, but yeah, basically, I don't know if that's to do with how it, because it literally fills your knob with blood. Does it ever get like too hard that it hurts? A couple of times. Because I can imagine like when it's like pulsing, it's like rock. Does it, does it go s- straight straight back down? <laughs> or like, you know, you see in the movies, where, you, just, you know, what? you've seen in the what? movies where wait, someone wait. takes Viagra and then they've, they've got like this raging cough <laughs> wait, for five wait, wait. hours. So if you, spare, it just stays hard. Uh, no, 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 it, it, it stays big, but it goes, no, this is the thing, it makes you get a much bigger knob, because obviously the more your the, more blood the cock is yeah, filled with blood, the bigger it gets, so you'll feel, it, it's a good confidence booster, and, take it every day, <laughs> but what it does is that I think it may, obviously increases blood flow, but it does it all over your body, so you'll get really red in the face, you'll probably get a blocked nose from where that's all, sw- everything's sort of a bit more swollen, Jesus. Yeah, but don't, obviously... Don't exercise on Viagra. No, it can give you a heart attack, can't it? What the no, 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 it can't itself. I think Dan Bilzerian popped like double the dosage and did loads of cocaine. Yeah, he had like two heart attacks in 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that was brought on by that because obviously it cr- increases the blood flow. But obviously doing it in safe amounts, I think, nah, there's no, there's no danger really. But yeah, it can... Uh, why are we, why obviously if we do up? get sponsored, we'd have to try out the... Sub- yeah, I'd, have ha- I'd happily try it if they wanted to send some some stuff. Right, we're all sit around the table. We all try it. <laughs> yeah, we're all try it together. Yeah. Did you Did you hear what I was listening to David Dobrik's podcast and he played this game like two weeks ago? So our age, uh, you know, Soggy Biscuit. Oh no! It wasn't quite Soggy Biscuit, but he played it. And it was the first one to come back to the living room wins. Wait, so what? Go on, explain so what the game- Soggy Biscuit is. <laughs> so. Soggy, mm. wait, do I really want, no, he didn't play Soggy Biscuit. Is it all spunking on a biscuit? Or like, what then is the it? last one to spunk has to eat it. He what? didn't play that, no, no, no. He played you this. played it. No. I sort of figured we could imagine you, Stanard and Saunders <laughs> playing. So, oh yeah, we're just playing Call of Duty. No, obviously like, nah. <laughs> Anyways, he played this game where they started the timer and it was the first one back wins. Do you think that's like. What's the, what, they all went off to wank? To different it? rooms, yeah. Well, and they all just do it. Wait, wait, but you you think he's gay? No. You said that. No, I didn't. You said I think I he thought, is. I thought David Dobrik you was. Said, you said he's had, uh, like, Madison beer. Well, I, no, 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 no. 
I don't think he's gay. I just don't, I just think like he's just not interested in a girlfriend right now. It's not really how you labelled it. Like. <laughs> you were like he's a definite <laughs> Never said homosexual, that. and there's nothing wrong with that. But I look, if you're playing videos. games with your boys, just you know, wanking, you? Uh, I would not say that, especially. You know, oh, go in my house. Knowing as well, it does go all over the place. Yeah. Mate, how does, you, <laughs> does your spunk not absolutely shoot? <laughs> Sometimes, not all the time. It depends how stimulating. <laughs> I know your, I know why yours shoots every time, though. Why? Because when you wank, it's not just a, oh, it's a wank. It's like a, it's a wank. <laughs> So you are raging. <laughs> yeah, but you know when you're just like, sometimes you wang and it's just like, just you're doing it for the sake of it. Also, also, you, you go celibate for like four weeks and then you cave in. So that it's got like X amount of... It's got of, four weeks of spat. Of pressure building up inside Yeah, it's like a there. hose. God, I'm telling you, the effects of not, 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 wank, not wanking are unreal. But Why you, do you think I'm so able to focus on going to the gym? Because I have all this... Bit pent up frustration. I could cycle 25 kilometers like it's nothing because I literally am so on it. Very intense. <laughs> well, I can cycle 35 I'll kilometers. I'll beat you. I reckon I'll beat you, mate. If you've seen the size of my legs, I'm going to get them out now. No, no, look at this. Might have a leg off. You probably, yeah, but you do squats. I don't do squats. No, I do. You, do what do you mean you don't do mate, squats? I have, I have only been cycling recently. You do squats, mate, yeah. But I've been doing mostly cycling. Get your legs out. I have severe knee injuries. I have a knee injury. I have a worse knee injury. Right. Go on, cut between them, Tom. Do split screen. Who's got the more hench ones? Get in there. Oi, bear in mind, I don't squat as well. That's not bad, you know. Yeah. Hairy. Oi, <laughs> this is another one. Like, obviously, as you, as you saw then and sort of can see, I don't really have any hair on my body. It's just the lack of testosterone. Do you think it is? Because I... I, I I debate this with myself. Like I, I, on one hand, I can build muscle very well, so that indicates a good amount of testosterone in my body. But I don't have no facial hair, no hair, no hair on, literally no hair on my legs. So surely I'm lacking testosterone. Well, maybe it's just a DNA thing. Yeah, it's also weird because you eat loads of protein, and obviously hair, nails is all just protein, isn't it? Like that's. Well, is, it? is your yeah, mum yeah, yeah. hair? Is your mum hairy? Me. Well, no, but <laughs> fucking girl. So? Mate, a bloke. Dad Harry? I don't think so. I don't fucking know. Oh. Who is he? Oh, Theo. Granddad? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> Granny, there you go. Your granny's still born. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I have no grandparents either. What a cheery end. Well, it's probably in your family. It's a hairless, <laughs> hairless family. <laughs> probably a hairless family. Ooh, I'm yeah. clearly quite hairy. You are fucking hairy. I used to be really self-conscious. Well, I've got so much hair everywhere else, but not Wait, your at skull. Prime, at primary school. Well. <laughs> no, but no, but why do you reckon that is? I'm in the I'm in the shredding phase. Okay. Uh, at primary school, I was really self-conscious about my arms. What did you have? Really hairy arms. Yeah, look at them. It was like that. In prim- I'm, mate, I'm like. Eight years old. Why do you not shave it? Nah, it's, it doesn't matter. No, I was. I hated it. I would. Yeah. I, just, when it, I know, mean, I do like having l- 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 less hair. I'd, I'd wear a jumper. Convenient. I'd wear a jumper yeah. in the summer. Really? Yeah. Well, it's like that's how I felt about my tattoo arm. Which now, now that you know, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind getting it out now. But that's how you know how you felt. That's how I felt in, in year six. Then I was like, oh, it's normal. It is normal. I mean, I think it shows that you are, you know, a manly, manly guy. You are. You're, you're getting bigger in terms of like your frame, the body. But I haven't done actual gym in like a week and a half. I think it just becomes so tedious might, with no gym. It might be growing up like because you're, you know, like you always look at your dad and your dad's always like. Yeah. But I know I'm also doing, I'm, bit, I'm a lot more active. I'm doing loads of cycling, wakeboarding. Oh, mate. Yeah, that takes it out of you. Oh, mate. I've, I have been in pain for the last two days. Yeah. In pain. Yeah, no, no, it literally it's, does. It's the falls, it hurt as well. Oh. But I have noticed, like, as in, have you seen your actual, like, body frame in the mirror get bigger? Yeah, I've noticed, like, a lot of stuff in the chest. No, but not muscle. I'm talking just your actual just... bones, like your skeleton. Because that's what I've noticed about my skeleton over, like, however, like, the past year or whatever. Like, I've become denser. Your bone density increases, Yeah, it? like, as in, I've gotten wider. My, my sternum, my actual rib cage has gotten. Bigger. I feel like I've got bigger in the shoulders. 
maybe. I just feel like I've got leaner. Basically, I've been getting a lot of compliments and I quite like it, so I want it makes me want to work harder. Yeah. It's good, that sort of like... It's like that dopamine hit that you get addicted to. That same thing that drugs do, boom. That same thing that chocolate does and sex does, dopamine, that's what compliments do. So that's why they're addicted. It's like you getting those compliments, getting that positive energy is is, attra- is uh, addictive. I also got to be careful. So I'm taking this week off because obviously I get injured a stupid amount of times. Yeah. But it's a bit pathetic. Like my muscles are actually shit. Mm. Like I pulled a hamstring wakeboarding. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you mate. know like a massage gun to like oh, do it. Yeah. I can't go over a certain area because it's just too painful. But you know, stay yeah, positive, how much, guys. How much protein do you have? I've been caning the protein. Yeah, have you? Because yeah, but ever since yeah, you said you think like a banana sandwich. No, no, no. Protein. I've been like, I've been I've been having two protein shakes a day, like fish protein bars. I've been trust me. I eat Weetabix protein now. <laughs> they have seven grams of car, uh, 13. protein. Thirteen. Yeah. You want to be caning two hundred grams a day? Yeah. That's what I go for. Oh, shit, my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep going. This normally when we'd end, but I want to just keep going. So if you have made it to this point, this is what you're going to comment. Mm. Okay, go on, Wow, Theo. Theo, you also look fantastic. Yes, that is what you're going to comment, because I really want to know who the real ones are. Watching this far, well, I run a Mac, jumping in the car. Should we have a little sing-off, do some impressions? Do some impressions. Do some impressions. Yeah, I can only do two. No, 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 no. Curtis. So we're going to have a conversation. Okay. So I'm going to be Steven Gerrard. <laughs> Yeah, and, you and you're gonna be, oh. you're gonna be Mora. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be Curtis. No, but you say Curtis, but you're being. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you're, gonna be, you're gonna be Curtis. I'm gonna be Stephen Gerrard. Right, go. <laughs> Hi, Stephen. Do you want me to make you some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> What's with the cross eye? So, uh, you yeah, know, you know. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, you Curtis. Sound like Dr. Smith. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so if you just pat me tracers off, no, um, listen. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Let me focus. Right, let me get my shit together. <laughs> Do it. Uh... Hello, lovely lady. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? Right, right, I'm going to get my shit together now. Ready? Yeah. yeah no, no, stop laughing. You're going to stop laughing now because I need to do this. Yeah, you know. So, it was a great game that we had the other week, wasn't it? <laughs> Man, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you sound more like Jamie Carragher. No, 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 no. I'm going to do this now. It's really winding me up. So, I'm going to do this. Um, you know. So, if you just want to explain to me right now, if you wanted to go and play a bit of football, <laughs> who would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you, you if, can't do it anymore because what? you're too inclined to go to Dr. Smith. Yeah, you used to be able to nail it, and now you're just Dr. Smith. Oh, my Smith. God, it is. The creep is taking over. Oh. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really wanting to get you alone. Here it is. <laughs> You know what, Theo? <laughs> I've been feeling your dark energy. Oh my God, do you remember? In and around your lower region. <laughs> what time is it? Do you remember? The battery. Well, the battery's running out on that one. Rob, goodbye, Luke Cam. So. <laughs> and we still get on that one. So, if it just pop... No, no, I'm trying to do fucking Gerald. Just leave it, Gerald. Right, in, you, you know. So, I pass the ball to Milney, and then I'll come to you, Theo. How do you feel about coming to round my house to do filming? Yeah. Hello, lovely lady. <laughs> would you like me to make you some coffee in the morning? That would be great if you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Actual shit! What are we doing? Right, I'll be honest. Right, if you were to chirps me, if you were to genuinely chirps me, what would you do? Go. I'd literally be like, It'd be like seven years. No, 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 do you know what I'd do? I'd be like, you little babe. Oh, oh that was horrible. <laughs> no, I'd be like, I'd, I'd be, be like, I know what I'd do. Uh, go on. 
you know, I could have made it as a pro <laughs> 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 I didn't have my injuries. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> would you hope that your creepiness makes uh, them laugh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come back with me? No, I'd probably just be like, look. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 just let me get this. I don't think you can contain the weirdo now. So, I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> you know how it, Let you know, me do this. I can do it. I can church. You're turning into a golem. How he can't contain... The Smeagol can't contain the golem. You can't contain the nonce. <laughs> Fucking Star Trek. <laughs> what? Lord of the Rings. What the golem? <laughs> right, so listen. Right, ready? Look, babe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you want to come around mine, I'll let you just come in, you know... Oh, no, it's getting weird now. But I think overall, Theo, look, I'll be honest with you, mate. Um, <laughs> if I sat, if I actually was in the presence of a female, I don't know how well, to of act. Course. You don't. I, I don't know how to act, bro. You've been out I, of the game for too no, long. I've lost. I've, I feel like you know, like what Stanard had. Stanard, obviously, yeah. you know, I have not interacted with a female in far too long, which is why I think I end up getting on uh, ye old waffling Instagram. And start, you know, flirting with the audience. Over 18 audience. <laughs> Over 18. No, that is the other dodgy thing. Like, obviously, I'm wha whacking out, you know, comments about sex positions, etc. on the waffling Instagram, which, you know, there are people of all ages on there. So where do we draw the line? Because we want to be true to waffling, but also, you know, a large part of our audience is very, very, very young. I, th I think to, to an extent we owe, what, like, a, a duty of care, so to speak, but... But at the end of the day, it's it's what we do. I also this think is what we talk. I about. also think we do actually provide some very good advice and are quite mature on a lot of subjects. But we also have the other side. Yeah, yeah, which and is a bit more on the on the topic of that. We're like, <clears throat> let's be realistic. Just, okay, there is a legal age of you know partaking in sexual acts, but like kids don't adhere to that. I mean, come on. Like as soon as you turn like thirteen, you're like, right, let's get down to business. I don't know what you're talking about. No, uh, I'm not saying you have to engage with older one of my people. Like one of my friends lost his virginity at 13. Uh, yeah, that's, see, that's, that's a bit Imagine mad. you're like, I don't know, nephew, niece, son, daughter. Oh, 13 is really young. And yeah, have a guess. How old were you? You were 17. When's the first time you did bits? 17. Six. First time you did bits? You did anything? Yeah. We we get a lot of emails like yeah I am such a massive virgin I'm turning eighteen and I still haven't slept with a girl it doesn't Mate, matter I, I didn't lose my virginity till I was seventeen I'd yeah like, I thought seventeen yeah, yeah. I we all were weren't we even even like on the waffling Instagram someone asked like oh Joe how do you combat insecurities and getting nervous when you go to have sex and I literally said I was like mate it still exists like I still the next time I mean my actual words were the next time I go to have sex I will shit myself <laughs> but that came out a bit wrong because I won't do that I will literally just still be so nervous and scared and just pray I'll just literally hope that my body functions it's also a very natural thing for someone it, losing your virginity is a big deal and like you Biggest shouldn't deal be, mate you shouldn't be afraid to have those nervous feelings it's just normal Surely, well, even when you actually know, I suppose with a partner, you don't get nervous. But no, surely you would. Even it's still your first time. No, 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 no. I'm not saying your first time. I'm saying you now, after seven years, oh. would you get nervous to when you have sex with Janine? No, no, of course not. No, no. But I mate, mean, I hadn't seen her for three months. And how was that, Lozin? Did you get any nerves then? I don't know, maybe I, I've forgotten how to do it. Did you even do it? Yes, I did. <laughs> I know, I was probably, a, I, would, I wasn't nervous, but I was like, how long will I last? It's been three months. Yeah, that, that's that's always the worry. Like, if you leave it a little bit of time, because we, we get questions. What's the shortest? I think there's a been? question in there. Like, how, how long should seconds. I last? Yeah. 15 seconds. And it's like, one of them, like, oh, I'm, I'm actually sorry. Yeah, you do have to apologise. Yeah. It happens, though. It, it happens. happens. It happens, but you just... I don't think there's any amount of time that your intercourse should be. I think yeah, it's is always it normal, quality. Uh, always like quality. Five minutes, isn't it, mate? You're like a good five, session. You're honestly, like yeah, five minutes of quality, you know, detail. <laughs> and I think you know you've already made them come three times anyway. <laughs> like, no, 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 but it's true. It's true. Like you, you can just in five minutes, even less, thirty seconds, mate. If it's class, then it's class. Sometimes I just look at them and they just come. No, no, we got an actual question here that is, how long should I last? Hi, yeah. Joe, Th Joe and Theo. Um, 
I have recently <laughs> lost my virginity with my girlfriend of a month. I feel like it was a very underwhelming experience. Classic. I'm not worried about my cock size, but what I'm worried about is how long I can last in a bed. Have you got any tips for lasting longer in bed and how, how long should it be? Look up in the ceiling and just, just hope for the best. <laughs> no, literally, I, I, uh, I think, look, mate, don't worry about that. What you want to worry about is, is having a good time. So you saying it's an underwhelming experience. Like, well, the thing that, you know, the actual sex element doesn't need to be what is, like, it's the stuff li- leading up to it is what can make it a good experience, i.e. the foreplay, the kissing, the caressing, right? That is what can literally make it good and make her enjoy herself and get you in the mood even more. And when you're feeling like in the mood and dominant, then that will probably help you to last longer and stay a bit more composed. And if you're so focused on lasting longer, you're not going to enjoy it because you're not in the element. Yeah, you need to... It's all about when, you know, having sex, this is the big thing that helped me out, is going, look, this is a... This is meant to be a pleasurable experience for me and for her. But the more I try to enjoy myself, the more relaxed and, and enjoyable she's going to be able to find it. If I'm worried about being good enough or impressing her or making sure she has a good time, you're, that's actually going to produce more probably awkwardness and yeah, just a worse experience all around. You need to focus on trying to have a good time. I think overall it comes down, it does, a big part of it is experience, you know, you, you get better at things such as lasting longer, Practice. knowing what's good and what works, the more you engage in these activities. Yeah, so like, if it's his first time and it, it probably is underwhelming, naturally. Yeah, it will be. Like mate, at the end of the day, you lo- you ask any, you know, WWE <laughs> superstar, footballer, anyone that's good at anything... Ask how their first time at ever doing that thing was, and they'll say I was shit. Basically, I was watching this thing on WWE the other day that were like, and they were like, yeah, at first when I first got out there and did some wrestling, I was fucking awful. And I think every anyone, your first time at pretty much everything, you may be lucky and it be good, but you're most likely going to be rubbish. It's about practicing and not be, not getting disheartened by bad experiences. That is literally the key to life. <sighs> On. Would you ever want to watch one of your mates having sex? <laughs> Why? What? How long have you been thinking of that? Well, just like, just to see what they're like behind no, closed doors. Wait, this, right? Uh, one of the boys was friends with someone, and he was on Pornhub. And no. What, yes. Le- leprechaun. No. Leprechaun? No, 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 no. Oh, wait. No, that's, no, 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 you, you know. Do Le- I? Leprechaun. You know. Whoa, mate. Okay, wait, wait guys. Wait, can I, you type I, it? I just need to write this down. Fuck you. How do you not? Oh no! Yeah. Okay. So not him. Anyways, right? No, no, no. Him. Yeah, that's another thing. But like, no, he was just because we found out about that and then we went looking for it. This was he was oh. randomly on Pornhub, mm. and he clicked on a video nah. and he opened it and it was like his mate and like this his girlfriend. That's getting like just randomly. Class. That would be interesting. But would you would you get off to that? Oh, watching your mum. No, um, no, 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 no. But I definitely. I would definitely look at it and be like, what the fuck? I would not get off on it Well, what would you all. feel if you, you, you start getting a rod on? You start feeling <laughs> yourself getting turned on? Turn it off. I would not wank over my mate. No, you're not wanking over your mate. You're wanking over the girl. Who's shagging your mate? No, mate, I think at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it would be dodgy. I, I Wait, don't... who was that? And where do you find <laughs> Where do you find <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll name drop after. <laughs> All right, name drop after. No, but like, have you any of you ever shagged a porn star? A waxed an ex porn star. Really? Oh, on the leg. And then she was like, "Can I?" No, she was meant to wax me, and then she was like, "Do you want to wax me?" And I was like, "Okay." Mia Khalifa. It's really nice. Yeah. Always DMs me about football. I'd love to get her on. But she, she's so she's been she's she, been trending worldwide. She, you see, she regrets doing the porn stuff, didn't Mate, she? She earned twelve grand. Twelve grand from and three months, is, and it's like divide. She she's lost all ability at having a first impression with any individual because everyone just judges yeah. her off that. Eight hundred and fifty six million views, and she earned twelve k. Yeah, it's stupid. But not only that, the thing that's pissed off. She's not really angry at porn up. She's angry at like gang bros or brazers okay. because they keep uploading videos. Mm. And pretending it's new content. Oh, oh horrendous. Oh. But yeah, that's why, you know, a lot of these girls that are doing OnlyFans, surely, surely somewhere down the line, there's going to be like, oh no. Like when... Sh- well, it's like, only just taken her, like, last year when she started talking about it. She refused to do anything. 
or even talk about any to even talk about it. and only now she's had like the bravery to speak up on it mm. very interesting uh listen Dodgy. that's why we you know when we get questions about doing only fans and we say yeah if you want to do it do it but just but, know but make sure years, that your yeah. future self would want you to do it as well yeah, but that's the thing you don't know because you aged i mean me age 15 is a different individual to me age 24 now yeah. and will be a different person to me age 40. You know, that's the first thing I remember when I saw Eddie Hearn, we, we did some filming and he was like, oh, well, uh, you know, you, you have no idea how much between your age now and 40, how much you're going to change. Yeah. Like, and he was saying that and I was like, wow. Because I, obviously I feel like, okay, this, this is just how I'm going to be for the rest of my life. But it is true. And those people that are making these decisions now to do things like get naked, get your knob or vagina out for OnlyFans... It was just like when, when when you see these like little twats, like sixteen year old twats. Like that was us. That was us. We were those twats. Yeah. Now you look. Speak for yourself. <laughs> now you look at them. You're like, oh, twat. Twat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. dodgy. But yeah. Anyway, should we end it there? What are yeah. you saying? Yeah. All right then, you lot. Make sure to listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It's great to listen. Obviously, we've got the HD amazing audio now. So. And also, uh, yeah. let us know about those. Membership, YouTube membership, Patreon stuff. What would you go for? Yeah, the the waffling mafia. Do we do we? But yeah, basically, it's our own OnlyFans. But what would you suggest? No cockpits. We got obviously. we got a lot of ideas, but we want to know what you want. Why don't we do cockpits? Look, why don't we sell them? Why don't we put them on there? Cut that out, Tom. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, but in like if we did like nude shoots and put them on our basically our own OnlyFans. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking bang. If we did. Only no one's going to buy a picture of your cock. No, no, no. If it, Mate, I could do a photo shoot. Tell me they wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> not your cock. No, not my knob. Maybe my knob. But I'm talking about my baldy. Well, imagine if I did some nice poses. <laughs> you know how, like, blokes, like, love looking at pictures like girls' arse and boobs? Yeah. Do girls, like, looking pictures of abs? I reckon there'll be some people that would pay for Weller OnlyFans. I'm telling you, mate, we should do it. I'll take, you know, 90%. Um, and you boys can do some as well. Would well, you Would you do it? For 5%, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you have to get paid to do OnlyFans? No, I don't think I can. 100 grand a year, chat to me. What am I putting up? Yeah. <laughs> you are putting up knob picks. Knob picks. No. Okay, not knob picks. Boxers picks. I don't give a fuck about that. And 100k. 100k a year. We're all on 100 grand a year. We're all just doing boxers picks. Oh, well, there's a vid of me in my yeah, boxers. Boys, let's get on it, oh, lads. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crap. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Um, so, <laughs> uh, right. yeah, let us know. Would you pay for that? And that's going to be the final thought of the day. We will see you when you're older. Do not go changing. And I will now Stand. end the video. <laughs>